Okay, welcome back to part two of this product demo for the Altest DSD867 saliva drug test. Now, the procedure for collecting the saliva sample is once you've got the sponge on the lid stick available and ready to test, the person you're going to take the saliva from should have had nothing in their mouth for at least 20 minutes before you collect the sample. But then you can give the uh, collector to the person and ask them to wipe in front of the lower teeth and the upper teeth between the teeth and the gums to collect any drug residues and then ask them to hold it in their mouth and to feed with their tongue saliva onto the uh, collecting sponge until they feel that it goes completely soft and floppy. And by the time it's completely su saliva saturated, if I can just show you this with my finger, it is completely soft and mobile and they will be able to feel with their tongue or teeth the central core that comes about one third of the way through that sponge. It's well adhered onto the actual collecting uh, stick, so it's very unlikely for them to be able to pull it off within the mouth. Uh, once it is completely saturated and you're ready to start the test, the procedure is very simple. It goes into the barrel, you push down and twist and lock the test together and then sit it in an upright position, start your timer and basically you will then come to read your results at five minutes from when you assembled the test. And if we demonstrate the actual test running, which we should be able to do now, what I'm going to do is remove the results window to show you before the five minutes is up what's happening in this test membrane. And if you can see here the pink dye starting to run up from the base where the saliva has been discharged towards the top of the test strips that are embedded into this test device. Now it's important while this is running that the test barrel is left in an upright position because you don't want the saliva to be just going onto one half or another half of the uh, bottom of that barrel. You want it to feed onto all six in this case of the membranes that are inserted into the peripheral element of this barrel. And what we're waiting now for is the five minutes to elapse by which time all six membranes, if we've managed to collect adequate saliva sample, should have run and we should have the control lines forming nearest the top element of each of those test strips. And then you're looking for the presence or absence of the test line in the lower element of those test membranes to determine your results. And what we'll do in part three is just demo that for you and show you the results of this saliva sample that we've tested.